for the next example, we have a similar one with the last example. We need to find I1, P, the total power generated, and the total power absorbed. As for this example, we have a current controlled current source. There's a value of 30 I1. So the value of this current source depends on the current here. So we have a rather simple uh, problem. We have two loops. Again, we have two loops. And then we have we can assign uh, or we can label the nodes as a node here. Node A Node B Node C and Node D. And we have loop one here. And then loop two. We need to assign a voltage across these 54 kilometers is for we have plus minus let's label this as uh, V1 next we need to assign a current here Going downwards, we can label this as I2. Then a voltage for here. Label, label this as V2. And then for the resistor here, conform with the passive sign convention. Passive sign convention. So the current flowing here is equivalent to the current here in this uh, dependent current source. So the current here is flowing this direction. So we need to assume the polarity of the voltage B positive on the right side and negative on the left side. We can label this as P. So again, we need to analyze the circuit to know where we need to apply KCL and KVL in which we can get the most information. So this is similar to the last problem. So we need to apply KCL at node B. Applying applying KCL at node B so we have I1 plus 30 I1 minus I2 equivalent to 0 or I2 is just equivalent to 31 I1. We have equation 1. So next, we need to apply KVL at loop 2. So applying KV, I mean KVL at loop 1. So KVL at loop 1. KVL at loop 1, we have negative 5 plus V1. Minus one plus V two plus two zero. So I five, I mean negative five plus V one is just equivalent to three four K I one minus one plus V2 is just equivalent to 6K I2 equivalent to 0. So we have 54 54K 
I1 plus 6 A I2 equivalent to 6. We have equation 2. So using equations 1 and 2, we can now solve for the values of I1 and I2. So substituting 1, 2, 2. We have 54 A I1 plus 6K times I2 is equivalent to 31 I1 okay, 6. Now solving for I1, I1 is just equivalent to 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 amperes. Or it's just equivalent to 25 micro amperes. Now we can get the value of I2. So I2 is equivalent to 31 I1 equivalent to 7.75 times 10 to the power of negative 4 amperes or this is just equivalent to 125 microamperes so next we need to get the value o of v so if we take a look at the circuit, at the circuit V is across this current source. So even though this is a current source, it still has a voltage across its terminal. So applying KVL at loop two, we have negative V two plus V minus V three. Plus eight is equivalent to zero. So V two is just six K I two plus V. So V three is just one point eight K times thirty I one. plus 8 equivalent to 0 so we, already, we already have the value of i2 and i1 so we can get the value of v so v is equivalent to negative 2 volts